Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces. That'll be the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgruf's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Take a look. Good doing business with you. of the great clan battle ball. <laughs> By Ismail, you've helped save the Gilda Green. Words can't express what that means to this. Rorik's debt's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If a dragon attacks, well, then it'd be a different story. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. <laughs> The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The Inn and Marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, 
Our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Thank <laughs> you. 